Hello and welcome dear students to a series of grammar and news. In this video, we are going to explore the present continuous tense. You are requested to grab a pen and a notepad so that you can take down notes, pointers and you can construct sentences along with this. Let us dive into it. The present continuous tense. The present continuous tense is used to talk about continued, uh, continued actions that are happening in the present moment. Remember that you are also in the present moment whenever you are studying tenses, past, something that has happened, already happened, future that is yet to happen, you are in the present zone. And present continuous tense is actually an action that is taking place while you are writing the sentence or you're constructing the sentence so the action is going on and that happening is in the present moment it is formed with the b form now b form there are 11 such words like example am is are was were has had have do did does quite a few are present uh, form of b we are going to look at only the present form of b the, like for example is and are and the, in addition to it the present participle participle means a verb with i n g form so let us explore the sentence that we have before us the present continuous tense the present continuous tense is used to describe a current continued action that means an action that is going on while we are constructing or composing the sentence julie usually wears jeans but today she is wearing a dress now usually wears is actually present simple present tense we are not exploring simple present tense in this video we are looking at the continuous tense continuous tense takes an auxiliary that is is the present continuous uses the verb be the be form that is 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 in the present form and wear is the verb with ing added to it when the verb takes ing it is called present participle this is the present continuous it describes what is happening right now so is wearing is is the helping verb wearing is the main verb and together this is giving the tense is wearing that is present continuous tense let us proceed and look at the sentence construction, how it is constructed. Well, let us first look at the table. We have the subject, then we have the B form, am, is, are. Then we have the present participle, that is the verb with ing form, and then the remaining part of the sentence. We have, for uh, explanation, we have taken the third person pronoun, she. She is wearing a dress. At this moment, you are requested to pause the video and construct a sentence with the same structure. Let us proceed. Looking at further examples, we are walking a dog. That means we are taking the dog for a walk. We are walking a dog. He is washing the dishes. They are talking on their phones. Next, we have they are now a R E R A is taken away, apostrophe is added. This is called a contraction. The subject is a contraction over here. The subject and the verb can be contracted. They are fighting with each other. She is. Together it is read as she is. She is relaxing at the moment. It is. I is taken away. Together it is read as it's raining a lot outside at this moment you may construct sentences let us proceed the next pointer that we have in uh, this uh, present continuous tense is that present participles spelling rules now when we are using the ing form there are certain rules to ing forms the present participle is formed by adding ing to the base form base form means the verb how it occurs in the dictionary that is called the base form without the inflections ing or without the inflections ed etc the main base form of the verb. Some participle part 
participles have slightly different spelling rules. Now, let us look at the spelling rules. The very regular verb, for example, wear, will just take ing along with it because it's a regular present participle. We have certain words which has got a magic E at the end. This mag magic E is a part of the spelling, but there is no pronunciation added to the word. For example, the word choose. The last letter is an E. This is a magic E. The magic E goes away before ing is added. So we drop the E before constructing the ing form. Then we have the last uh, letters are IE. It's a part of the spelling IE. What happens is that IE goes away and it changes to Y before ING is added to it. So we change the IE to Y. Last letters are consonant, vowel, consonant. Remember this? This C, V, C rule is that the final syllable is stressed. For example, shop. Uh, children usually remember the spelling construction in this way. When there is a vowel and a consonant, the vowel is the strength over there. It holds the hand of the letter P so strong that it doesn't let it go. And it attracts another consonant of the same nature. So, shop, the P is doubled before ing is added. Remember, consonant, vowel, consonant rule. The last consonant is doubled before ing is added. We have certain exceptions to this rule. We double the last letter except when it is W, X or Y at the end. For example, if you have the word wax, waxing, uh, ending with X, there only it will be an ing added to it. The, the X will not double at this point you may think of words try constructing the spelling as per the rules given let us proceed the further examples that we have is that they are it is con contracted over here they are opening a store next week remember that don't double the last letter because the final syllable is not stressed over here the final uh, letter is not stressed. It is just in uh, the pronunciation open. So, ing opening. Harry is always lying to his mother. Look at the spelling of uh, lying. How it has changed. I am cutting some apples. Look at the, the consonant T that has doubled up. And this is spelling. My uncle is writing a novel. Look at the spelling of writing. The E is dropped over there. Terry is mopping the floor. Look at the spelling of mopping. P has doubled up in the spelling. My mother is baking us a cake. The E has been dropped and ING is added. And this is the present participle. The same rule of spelling construction is takes place when gerunds are considered. Gerunds are verbs with ING form which has the force of a noun as the force of the verb in its own for example dancing is my passion dancing is placed in the sentence in the place where subject is supposed to be a noun is supposed to be but the verb word is in the ing form so it is playing the role of the verb also and the noun also that is a gerund the spelling rule is the same that is the reason gerunds were mentioned while discussing present continuous tense let us proceed. There are certain common errors or mistakes while uh, constructing the, the continuous tense. Action verbs can be used in simple and continuous forms. For example, I read every day. Read can become reading. I am reading right now. Remember, so these are this is an action word. But state verbs, there are certain verbs that those are actually only for stating certain action. Those state verbs are not usually used in continuous form the state word work example is i own a car you're just stating it that a person owns a car or two cars 
you cannot make it i am owning two cards it is incorrect english so remember that state verbs cannot be considered for continuous tense at all it is only the action words which are used for construction of present continuous tense or the continuous tense in general let us proceed now let us see the th third point uh, in present continuous tense we have the questions how questions are formed with present continuous tense to ask a question in the present continuous swap the subject and the form of be the form of be over here is is the subject is he so we are interchanging the place of the auxiliary and the subject and that is how a question is formed the statement was he is playing tennis it has changed to is he playing tennis over here is in this question the verb moves to the start of the sentence so is is the question tag used over here and the action is happening right now is he playing tennis that is how a question is constructed with present continuous tense at this point you are requested to pause the video construct a sentence first in present continuous tense and change it into a question let us proceed let us study the form how the question is formed we have the auxiliary and is are then we have the subject then we have the verb in the ing form and the rest of the sentence with the question tag so we have the auxiliary subject the verb in the ing form and the rest of the sentence is he playing tennis at this moment you may try one more question on your own using the same structure let us proceed for the examples these are for observation are they going to the park is he cycling to work you can see that the question tag is is and he is the subject verb is cycling is she eating pizza is is the question tag over here she is the subject eating is the continuous uh, verb are they working late are is the question tag over here they is the subject and working is the verb where are we going to dinner over here you can see that is are and um, um, other than that we have used the question wh question tags now wh question tags will attract an answer which is an open ended answer these questions attracted answers in yes or no form which are known as closed questions now this is an open ended question which will attract any answer where are we going today the answer could, could be any place shopping mall park etc are you coming to the party this is again a closed ended question we have the auxiliary the subject and the verb in the ing form what are you eating for dinner now this is again an open ended question are you eating for dinner might have been a question but what are you eating you are asking for a, some some specific object as a reply is it raining outside it's a closed ended question the answer would be in yes or no let us proceed the next point that we have is in the present continuous uh, is the negative form that how to form negative so how to add the word not to make the negative of the present continuous add not after be so now previously we have seen that auxiliary and the verb will form the continuous tense now if you are adding the word not you need to insert it in between the auxiliary and the main verb he is wearing a tie this is present continuous tense but he is not wearing a hat you can see auxiliary and the verb in between not is added you may contract is not to isn't taking away the o adding an apostrophe there isn't 
add not after B to make the negative contractions are also possible. The present participle stays the same when you make the negative. That means ing form remains as ing form. Let us proceed. Let us look at the sentence form. Uh, the negative sentence is the subject. Then am is are plus not. We have an addition over here. For negatives, not is added. Is not, are not, am not. Then we have the verb in the ing form. That is the present participle. That doesn't change at all. And then we have the rest of the sentence. He is not wearing a hat. At this moment, you are requested to pause the video and construct a sentence. Let us proceed. For the examples, he isn't walking the dog. We aren't taking the bus today. They aren't singing well today. You aren't going, doing your job. She isn't cleaning up her bedroom. James isn't reading his book. They aren't looking where they are going. We aren't eating out this week. He isn't playing football today. You aren't doing well at school this year. For this exercise, you are requested to classify each word, each word as per the category. For example, he is the subject, isn't is the auxiliary and not contracted. Walking is the present participle. The dog is the remaining part of the sentence. Try classifying as per the categories mentioned. With this, we have come to the end of the video. If you like the video, click on like, share and subscribe. Thank you very much for your kind attention.